Hello and welcome to Craftiosity, the subscription box of modern craft kits. This month we're taking inspiration from our feathered friends and using needle felting to make this little needle felted bird on a wreath. Inside your kit you'll find a foam pad, felting needles, some wire, a wicker wreath, your colours of felt and a ribbon to hang your wreath up with. Take the piece of wire, open it out and then fold it loosely in half to find the centre. Then fold the wire properly either side of the loose centre so you have a central section 4cm wide with two legs coming straight down. Fold the wire again 5cm along one of the legs and wind the wire back and forth between your fingers to create three toes, each around 2cm long. Squeeze each toe together. Then wrap the remainder of this side of the wire up around the leg keeping the original wire completely straight. When you get to the top, keep wrapping along the central section. Repeat this for the other leg and your legs will look something like this. Loosen the end from your grey wool and start wrapping it around the centre of the legs until it's around 3cm thicker diameter. Cut off the rest of the wool. Use a felting needle to carefully stab through the wool where it overlaps and around the wire. The needles have little barbs on them. When you push the needle into your wool, it binds it together to felt it. Please be very careful with the felting needles, they are incredibly sharp. To speed the process up, you can use two needles held tightly together. Keep felting until the wool has compacted together around the wire. Make sure the last section is secure to the legs before doing the rest of the body. Now cut off a 20cm piece of grey wool and save it for later. With the remainder of your grey wool, wrap it around the central section and then up and around itself to create an upper body, then wrap around the whole piece top to bottom. Use your felting needles to roughly secure the wool in place initially, then felt it all over with quite a light tap 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 motion to create the full body. You're looking for a bulbous base coming in slightly for a neck, just needle felt it more in this area to compact it, then a smaller rounded head. To make the body lean forward slightly, adjust it as you're felting. To develop the head, loosen the end of your cream wool and wrap this around the head a couple of times. Cut off the spare wool. Felt the cream wool onto the head. To make it cover the top of the head, ease the wool up and over, felting it in as you go. Cut off another piece of cream wool around 10cm long and fold it in half lengthways so it's now 5cm long. Needle felt this on the foam pad creating a rectangle of felted wool. Lift the wool off the foam pad and fold it over on itself so it's roughly a square shape. This will become your bird's tail. Position the tail against the bird to check you're happy with the length, then felt the cream wool piece together. Bring the top edges of the cream square in and needle felt them in place to create a slightly tapered top to your tail. Then unwind the grey wool and tease out a very small piece of wool so it's wispy. Felt this in place on top of your cream tail. Unwind the red wool and tease out a very small piece. Twist it along its length then repeat and place three lengths over the tail from top to bottom. Felt these in place using the very tip of a felting needle to tidy in the edges of the lines. We'll now add three black teardrop details on top of the red lines. Take a tiny piece of the black wool and roll it in your fingers to make a small ball of wool. Needle felt this into the bottom middle of the tail. Then use the tip of your needle to tease a little up to the top of the teardrop. Repeat twice more either side. Then turn your tail over to the underside and add two more lines of red wool. Use a very light stabbing motion for these so you don't puncture through to the top side of the tail. Cut a piece of cream wool about 5cm long and tease apart in two sections down the middle. Put one to one side for now. Fold the other piece in half so it's roughly square and needle felt it on the foam pad until the wool has matted together. Pinch one end and carefully felt the wool in. This will be one of your wings. Place a very small piece of red wool separated out to make it hazy on top of your wing. Then do the same with a piece of very hazy grey wool and place it on top of the red piece. Needle felt both onto the wing. Take a very small piece of black wool and twist it to make a thin line. We're going to create two long U shapes on the wing. 
hold the line of thin black wool in place with the tip at the top of the wing and felt it into the wing with your needle. Turn the black line into a U at the bottom of the wing and felt it back up. Repeat on the other side. Trim any excess strands from the top of your wing with scissors, then repeat for the other wing. We'll now add more grey wool around the head of your bird using the 20 centimetres of grey wool we put to one side earlier. Wrap some wool around the neck on the top of the cream wool and felt it in. Build more grey up over the head and around the sides of the face so your bird looks something like this. We'll now add a little more colour to the back of your bird. Take a very small wispy piece of red wool and lay it across the back. Needle felt this into place. Then take a small piece of the red wool and coil it in on itself to create a little circle for its belly. Place this onto the front of the bird and needle felt it into place. Use the very tip of your needle to pull the wool into place and get a sharp line around the outside of the circle. We'll now create the eyes. Take a tiny piece of black wool and roll it in your fingers to make a little ball of wool. Use your felting needle to put this into place on your bird. Check its position. If you're happy, keep going until it's secure. If not, remove it in place again. Create an even smaller little ball of the cream wool and place this onto the black circles for the eyes. Where you place it will change where the bird is looking, so you could have a little bit of fun with this. Needle felt the cream wool circles into place. Then create three more lines of twisted black wool. Attach the first from the crown of the head down the back of the bird with another on either side. We'll now add the tail to the bird. Position it into place and make sure you're happy with how it will sit. Then needle felt the top third of the tail and any wispy bits securely onto the bird. If you want to continue the black lines right down the back, add a few more pieces of twisted black wool and needle felt them into place. Add the wings to the sides of the bird in the same way as the tail, checking their position before you add them on. We'll now make the beak. Take a small piece of black wool and felt it on the foam pad in a loose rectangular shape until it's holding together. Then roll along the length of the rectangle into a tight little roll. Use the foam pad as a base and carefully needle felt this little roll into a conical beak shape. Gently needle felt the beak onto your bird's face. Go slow and steady and the beak will hold in place. We'll now attach your bird to the wicker ring. Tie the ribbon around the top of the wreath. To attach the bird to the ring, curl one foot of toes around a prominent piece of wicker so it holds. Then curl the other foot around the wicker further along so it sits securely on the ring. You can position it with two toes forward and one back if this makes it easier to hold. Check your little bird is robustly held. And well done, your little bird is complete. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, subscribe to our channel or head on over to our website at craftiosity.co.uk to sign up for our newsletter for regular inspiration and tutorials into your inbox.